Hey folks, David here with another main stage tutorial for you. In this video, I'm going to talk about troubleshooting MIDI. I see questions come up all the time with people having issues getting their controllers connected or uh, experiencing really strange behavior from their MIDI hardware. And a lot of folks don't seem to know where to start to begin to diagnose what the issues actually might be uh, stemming from. So really quickly, I just wanted to give you a couple things that you can do, tools that MainStage has built in that can help you sort of get a bird's eye view of what your MIDI information looks like. And this is the first thing I recommend you do if you're having weird behavior between uh, your MIDI hardware and MainStage. So I've got MainStage open here, and the first thing I wanna draw your attention to is this little MIDI in uh, window right at the top in edit mode, and you can also view it in layout mode. And whenever you press something that you have connected, you should see data in that MIDI in tab. If you don't see any data in that MIDI in tab, then that lets you know that MainStage isn't even getting any information from your hardware. So that means maybe first uh, disconnecting and reconnecting your hardware, uh, powering it off, powering it back on, making sure that all your cables are plugged in correctly, trying new cables if you have them, uh, or alternate cables. And then also if it's your first time connecting this specific hardware, make sure that you didn't uh, skip a step where you needed to install a driver to allow the hardware to communicate with main stage. Some uh, keyboard workstation controllers have modes that do send MIDI and modes that do not. So do a quick Google search and find the user manual for your specific model of keyboard and see if there's a mode that you need to turn on in the keyboard to enable it to send MIDI signal uh, out of the MIDI output of the keyboard. Those uh, parameters vary between keyboards, so it's just something for you to keep in mind. A lot of modern keyboards are plug and play, but some still do require drivers, and some have specific settings in the keyboard that you need to turn on in order for them to see MIDI. So if you're not getting anything uh, in this MIDI in area right up here at the top, then that's the stem root of your issue, and you don't even need to worry about anything in main stage until you're able to actually see MIDI input in that window. Now let's say that you do see MIDI activity in this little MIDI monitor, uh, but stuff is acting really weird. Maybe uh, drum pads are triggering notes, uh, maybe your notes on your keyboard are triggering all sorts of wonky stuff, your mod wheel isn't working, your sustain pedal isn't working, or it's reversed. Most of those issues can be diagnosed by analyzing the MIDI input, but there's actually a more in-depth way to look at this than just one signal at a time. So that's what I'm gonna show you next. When you go up to Window in Main Stage, you want to click on MIDI Message Monitor. And when you do this, it starts keeping an active log of all MIDI input that comes into Main Stage. So when you turn a knob or a fader, you can see it's flooded by data. And this is every step between zero and 127 as I move this fader or knob. Whenever you hit a note, you see the note value, the, uh, the velocity value, where it's coming from, and what MIDI channel it's on, and then when you release, you see an off command sent as well. Um, so this is a really, really useful thing to do to sort of get a bird's eye view of what's going on. Oftentimes, issues I see are sustain pedals that are actually sending continuous data instead of just on and off. Uh, there's several keyboard models that do that sometimes mod wheels will be sending on the wrong MIDI number. They won't be sitting on control change one, they'll be sending on five or 10, which means that main stage doesn't translate those as modulations so they don't get passed through to your plugins and your mod wheel doesn't work. This lets you troubleshoot all of those issues. Same thing for pitch bend, for volume, for expression. Uh, so for those shelf controls uh, that main stage is looking for a specific MIDI CC number on, this is a quick way to check and see. And then also you can check to see if you've got a faulty note, if it's uh, middle C, but you actually see that it's sending on E5, then you've got an issue with your controller, not with main stage. So this is a really good way for you to dig into that. And then there's also the ability to filter what the MIDI messenger does and does not track. So if you only want to know about notes and you don't want to know about CC, then you can filter them out here so that it's just the kind of data that you are concerned about. Um, but this is a really helpful tool for you to be able to quickly troubleshoot and analyze what your issue is. So just to review, if you don't see any MIDI activity up here in the MIDI in section, then it's a hardware issue or a connectivity issue. So check your hardware, turn it off, turn it back on, reconnect it, make sure it's in the right mode so that it's sending MIDI if it has multiple modes of operation. Just Google the user manual 
If you've done all that and it's still not getting connected, then make sure that you didn't forget to install a driver or something that was required in order for the keyboard to communicate with your computer. Um, the last thing that you can do is you can go up to Spotlight here and you can search for Audio MIDI Setup. And when you open that up, it might open in one of two tabs. Uh, generally, it opens in the Audio tab. You just want to go up here to Window and hit Show MIDI Studio. And this gives you an overview of devices that your computer is currently detecting as connected to your computer. So you can see I have a Keystation 88 right here. And if I hit test setup and play a note, you can see that little blue arrow means that main uh, that Apple or my Mac is receiving MIDI from that device. And you've also see I've got my Nano Control 2 connected here. And then main, uh, your Mac will remember other devices you've connected in the past and show whether or not it detects them as currently connected. So I've used a Nord Stage 2 as a MIDI controller, so it shows up as an option here, but it's grayed out, which means that uh, the Mac doesn't currently detect it as connected. So if I had a Nord Stage 2 connected and I saw it as grayed out here in audio MIDI setup, that would be a clue that I have a connection issue somewhere. Uh, maybe a bad cable or something just not plugged in all the way. So using audio MIDI setup is a third way that you can get a little bit of extra clarity on uh, MIDI troubleshooting issues you might be experiencing. Of course, if you have issues, uh, diagnosing them is only half of the problem, then there's the way of, uh, the whole issue of figuring out how to resolve them. Uh, we'd be happy to help with that. So if you ha are having weird MIDI issues, check out all the tips in this video and try and isolate what's going on. And then you can ask it in the Insiders Facebook group, uh, or you can send us an email, or you can visit us on our website. And we'd love to help if you are not able to sort it out yourself. All right, folks, I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If it was, I'd really appreciate it if you gave it a like and a comment and maybe shared it with a main stage using friend. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.